I was a curable romantic. Not anymore. I'm cured. <laughs> People ask, did the bubble burst? I say, no. <clears throat> it wasn't a bubble, it was more like suds. Lots of suds. Big heaps of them. Made of millions of tiny bubbles. But even when life was the sudsiest, when I mooned and spooned in milieu of feelings and imaginings, it was already started. Along the edges and all underneath the bottom, the little bubble cells were bursting. At first, hardly noticed, like statistics, leading indicators, it heading into a recession. It's like a little while before you notice the mountains of suds are not quite so big. The little bays and lagoons between them growing larger. The bayous of gray water extending further inland. Every time somebody used the word love, it dissolved a little more of the froth. Every morning when you woke up and realized how little it meant. If you listen very closely in a quiet room, you can hear the suds bubbles decay. It's something like static on the radio. It's kind of like when it first starts to rain. It's kind of like tires on gravel at a distance. Like when new trouble turns into the parking lot down below. Or love saunters out the door and stalks that way far enough that you can hear the footstep sounds grow fainter in the distance. Just sliding some dirty dishes into a big fluffy kitchen sink, you can almost hear the little surface tensions bursting. Every show the band played when the place wasn't full. Everybody that kept talking when you started to sing. Every first date that didn't turn into a second. Every time somebody said they'd call. And the phone remained silent enough that you could hear the bubbles popping. The mountains became islands. The islands kept eroding. You had to move the lighthouse back from the cliff before it's undermined and tumbles and tumbles into the brackish surf below. You wake up some afternoon, or well into evening, and you say to yourself, you know, things ain't so sudsy anymore. <laughs> so I end up with the refugees down by the banks of the slowly moving, slowly shrinking river, washing and taking a dump in and drinking the same water. The curable and the cured romantic thinks that just because there's no suds, doesn't mean the soap isn't there. You can churn it with your fingers and get a little froth started. You just take no note that when you stop, it dissipates. For the cured and the curable and the honey-cured ham romantic, dreams are what you make of them. So are the suds. <laughs>